what's up everyone, Vulgar is here. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can do the Shatter Effect in Adobe After Effects. And this makes a pretty cool transition as well as a nice effect, especially when you're doing things like sniper kill feeds, and uh, that's what I have today. So uh, the first thing you want to do is, um, I'm going to show you guys how you can do the cool effect, and then I'll jump to the transition a little bit later. So uh, for the effect, you want to first drag in a clip or two to uh, After Effects. And right here I'm just going to use this 9-man kill feed. Some really awesome clips. I forget the name of the player who actually uh, who uh, sent these to me. I will put it in the description, that way you guys can check them out. And uh, I'm actually going to delete this bottom layer just so I can resize this clip. Now, um, once I resize it to my liking, I am then going to copy the clip. So by um, highlighting this and on my keyboard, holding in control and hitting C, and then s while I'm holding in control, hit V again, and that's going to create two identical clips. So all the settings on one will be then transferred to the other. So if you want to apply color correction, do that beforehand. Um, now what you're going to do is you are going to go on the top layer and you're gonna go to effect and you're gonna go to simulation uh, shatter and basically you're gonna have like this really weird grid and uh, that's because you said wireframe and uh, plus forces and basically what that is that's basically just showing you like what's gonna happen and in order to actually put the clip on there you want to put rendered and that's gonna actually render the layer as breakable so as you see it breaks it takes bricks and I really don't like the bricks that much um, I don't use this in my montage that often but generally I think what is it? If you go to uh, shape and you go to bricks, you can pick any of these. Also, you can make custom. I've never actually done that before, so I'm not really sure how to do that. But there's a lot of really good ones. I usually use glass, and that makes a really realistic like breaking effect. But uh, there's a whole list of them you can do: stars and triangles. And you could also, uh, you know, just mess around and see what you like. So I'm just gonna pick glass because I like glass. And let's see what we're we gonna do now. So. I'm going to show you guys some of the settings you can mess around with, and uh, like origin basically is like where it breaks from, as you see. And um, same thing with force, if you notice right here, force 1 and 2, same idea, it's kind of like where it breaks from. And um, as you see right here, it, it makes uh, that shatter effect, almost like someone punches the glass from that point. Um, so some more settings you might want to look for is uh, force 2, I really don't use that often, or I don't use that at all, I really only use force 1. Um, gradient, I don't use that either. Physics, you want to mess with a little bit. Um, rotation speed, it's going to actually, like, as you see, if you're looking right here, it's going to actually, like, uh, rotate the uh, blocks or the bricks or the shards of glass. And it's going to give it a more realistic looking, you know, effect. Especially if you just got, like, a really, like, if you got, like, a triple or a quad, you want it to be really drastic. You don't want it to just be flying around. You know, you want it to be, like, a really, you know, drastic glass shattering effect. So, um, same thing with gravity. If you want to make the shards fall f qu quicker, excuse me, you can put that up a little bit, and as you see, the shards fall, and then you get this look. Let me turn the uh, the third, that way it doesn't look that laggy. As you see right there, and uh, because this point right here, if you notice, uh, still part of the old clip is right there. I don't know if you can see that. You see a little mark right there? That's assuming that, basically, it's trying to simulate the uh, glass shattering effect. So, this is actually, like, this part, the glass wasn't broken, and if you notice, the glass shatter didn't even actually hit this part. So you can either, if you want to stop that, you can either put the, um, if you go back to force one, you can put radius up higher, and that'll end up breaking the whole entire thing, as you see. Or you can just leave it that way, whatever you want. Um, but then you're going to have that cracked line right there, and uh, you might not like that in your montage. So um, what other things you might want to know? Uh, material, lighting, that's pretty much all I use. You can mess around with what settings work best for you, but definitely physics is going to um, really play a big impact on what your thing looks like and also uh, the shape. Now, those are basically, I think, the two biggest things, especially when you're doing this effect. And um, that's basically it. So let me just apply it, show you guys how you can apply it. So say when I, I get a kill, it's gonna, the screen's going to shatter. So in order to do that, I would click the down arrow and shatter. Actually, I like to use this whenever I uh, keyframe things. So I just go click the down arrow on here, down arrow on effects, uh, down arrow on shatter, and then all these things are here. Um, they sh could, they can be minimized if you want. Uh, under force one, you want to um, turn radius down to zero, keyframe it, okay. And then right as you get the kill, you're gonna keyframe it again. So hit this little button right here, add or remove keyframe at current time, and then a few seconds later, you can just put that up a little bit, and also you can move the point to where you want it to be. So I'm gonna move the point right here, and then move the radius a little higher. And now you get this effect. And it's a uh, glass breaking. Here, I'll just move this a little bit towards the center.
and now you have this realistic looking glass break and eventually all the glass will fall you can turn the gravity up if you want you know it to fall quicker and you can do this as many times as you would like now I'm going to show you guys how you can do the transition which same thing um, now in order to basically combine two clips if you can uh, say for example I want to combine these both clips into one I uh, click on one clip and I hold in control and then click the other one then I go to layer pre-compose and check the uh, second option and you can do that if you want I usually um, sometimes it depends what I'm doing for now I'm not going to do that I'm just going to click OK now it's only one clip it's called pre-comp and I cannot uh, edit any of those options from the past effect so it makes it a little bit simpler now I'm going to add the next clip I have which is a five man kill feed and I'm going to just put it right there and uh, let's see I'm just going to drag this out okay perfect now you can uh, of course delay the timing or whatever you want to do but uh, because I'm not editing a montage I'm not going to worry about this I'm just going to worry about how to get the uh, transition correct what you want to do now is uh, make sure both layers are visible I'm going to put five man kill feed on bottom which is the clip I want to transition to Okay, then, as you see right here, I get this uh, kill, it screen shatters, and then right here, I want this, after I get this kill, the screen's going to shatter again. And um, this is, by the way, like I said, a 9-man kill feed, so there's a lot more, it's a lot longer of a clip, but I'm just going to do this for the sake of the tutorial. Uh, same thing, on pre-comp 1, I'm going to do, I'm going to do effect, I'm going to do simulation, and I'm going to do shatter, and that's going to, same thing, apply a shatter effect. Make sure you do rendered, and now you're going to have this brick effect and actually I gotta fix this because automatically it's gonna go back to the beginning of the video so you wanna go down arrow effects shatter and on force one I'm gonna make sure uh, that radius is at zero the whole entire time and then right before you want the effect to go off so right here you wanna then keyframe radius and then put it up again okay and then I'm going to change and go on here shape I'm going to change this to let's change to something else I really didn't check out many of these I checked out what's eggs kinda of close to Easter I really don't like that effect though um, I'll just stick with glasses I like that uh, so glass right here and now it transitions from one clip to the next now I'm not going to mess with all these settings to make this tutorial shorter but you can mess with any of the settings you want and make uh, presets and stuff like that so just to show you, it gets that kill, and then the screen breaks. So, it's a pretty cool effect. Tell me what you guys think by leaving a comment below. And if you have not already, you can subscribe to my channel, youtube.com slash vulgars and Enraged X Production. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, that's pretty much it.